as the, the band is just declaring that this is how we fight our battles. What a great message from Pastor uh, Blake. And I'm here with Justin. What's up? Hey, Boom. What's up? And we're here to go deeper with yes. you guys. Excited um, for just to, to go through a few questions. And we want to thank you for joining us. And make sure that as we talk, you guys are going to have ideas. You're going to have questions. And we wanted to spend this time, no matter when you're watching it, for you just to chat in and let us know what's going on. You know, I love the story of the woman at the well. Yeah. Um, when you think about that story, what's that? It's iconic. It's iconic. <laughs> it's how it is. And when you think about that story, what stands out to you the most? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I love what kind of what, where Blake went with it, but but um, he, he calls her to bring her idols to him. Mm -hmm. You know, with with her husbands and says, "Go go grab your husband." She says, "I I, I want this. I want this." This well, right? That yeah. that I don't have to come back here. And he says, "Okay, well, bring me your idols, lay them down at my feet, and then let me show you what it looks like to work." Yeah, the idols of, of 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 sex or the idols yeah. of the, of everything that she was wrapped up in. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I think that's just that's just incredible um, how he orchestrated that whole scene right there. Yeah. And I just got, when I'm thinking about that scene, I'm just thinking, man, her heart must have just jumped a little bit when yeah. he said. <laughs> He said, well, what? you're right. You don't have just one husband. You have yeah. had several. Yeah. Uh, you know, when I think about that story, Justin, I just think about how much I love, you know, some people would say, and maybe you're saying this as you watch, that, you know, Chris, Christianity is too exclusive, mm. um, that Christianity isn't for everybody, and that, you know, it is true that Jesus said, I'm the truth, the way, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. Um, sounds super exclusive but, you know, when you think about this story and when you think about some people who may be watching, it, it's so inclusive. I mean, yes. Jesus went to, could you just name the things when she was a woman? She yeah. was a Samaritan. Yeah. I mean, just she was a sinner. Yeah. You know, all of these things. She came and he chose that moment. I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah. Um, he chose that moment to to tell the world that he was the living water. I mean, yeah. Does it get any better than that? If I was going to write a movie or a script, I mean, this I know, is historical right? fact. It is. It is. And, yeah, just like what you were saying, it, it is inclusive. The only thing he asks you to do is, is bring him your idols, idols. So, that you yeah. can, so that you can have true life. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. If you're watching today and you're thinking, yeah, that's me. I mean, I was going to hit this at the end. But, you know, if, you, if you're watching, you're thinking, that, yeah, that's me. I want this living water. I mean, the, the message of, that Jesus brought of love and grace and peace and truth is so inclusive that it's for you. It's, it was for me. It's for you. It's for everybody. And so, you know, let us know. Reach out to us if you ever, um, you know, if you want that living water and you've not experienced that. And, and the story of the woman at the well, you should go back and read it. Um, it's just so um, awesome to me that, you know, Jesus chose just to, to hang out with tax collectors and sinners and, and just to share the message of Christ, even the religious leaders of the day who, who were kind of missing the point yeah. in some cases. <laughs> and so, so speaking of missing the point, Justin, let's talk about this. What are Christians missing um, when, when, um, when it comes to our, our worship in our current culture? What would you say Christians are missing? Like, yeah, I'm a Christian, I believe in Jesus, but what gets missed? Is it just the fact that, yeah, we go to Astros games and we... <laughs> I don't think yeah. you'd ever be caught dead in an Astros game, but unless they're playing the Braves. Yeah. yeah. But anyhow, what is it that we're missing? Is it that we get sucked in and we do worship false idols? Mm. What would you say our, our current culture is missing? Yeah, I, I, think, I think for us it's we, and I think Blake hit it too, I think we just have a tendency to want to check stuff off the box. And so, and so, we want to try to categorize worship as this act that I do on Sunday mm -hmm. and not um, the life that I need to be living, you know, Monday through Saturday that, mm -hmm. that results in overflowing, mm -hmm. you know, from, from, you know, when I get here on Sunday. Like, like yeah. it's, not, it's not religious. It's not a religious as act or aspect mm -hmm. or, or anything like that it's it's a it's a it's a lifestyle yeah you know? amen and, and i think we i think we can tend to miss that a little bit I yeah think as christians when you think of sunday sun sunday morning worship or you know whenever you you have your your corporate worship um is it the is it the beginning 
of your week of worship? Is it the end of your week? Because he kind of, uh, Pastor Blake kind of pointed out that, no, oh, man, I've been worshiping all week, and this is kind of a culmination. I get to yeah. come in and, like, hey, you've been worshiping, I've been worshiping, you've been worshiping all week. Yeah. Now we get to do this together. Yeah. Uh, so it could be the beginning or the end, you know. Yeah. Maybe for some of you guys, this is the beginning, and it's, it's, it's where you need to start. And we want to say to you, well, one, get involved in a group. Um, yeah. <laughs> but two, you know, spend time reading God's Word and, yeah. and, and praying and communing with God. Um, and then uh, we get to get together, whether it's online nowadays or in person, and, and, and do that together. It's yeah. a pretty cool thing. Well, we've got a minute and 30 okay. to talk about what truth is. <laughs> so I don't think we're going to get into that. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe stay tuned for, maybe we'll do a little going deeper segment yeah. later in this week. Yeah, we can talk about cool. truth. Because Jesus said um, there will come a day uh, when the true worshipers of God will worship in spirit and in truth. And yeah. Man, we had a lot to talk about with yeah. what is truth. And even Pilate finally asked Jesus, so what is truth anyhow, yeah. you know? And yeah. so that's, it's interesting because we get truth mixed up. And, we do. And in today's culture, we want to talk about truth, relativism. And right. man, the truth is not relative. No. And yet we live in a post-truth society. Post-truth was added to the dictionary in 2016. Yeah, tell us about that definition. Yeah. Post-truth. The, the idea is basically is relativism. Basically the idea that, okay, well, well, well truth doesn't... Um, you know, I don't like what truth is, and so I'm going to try to live uh, beyond truth and, and, or, or reconstruct it in a way that's good for me or mm -hmm. good for you or whatever. Yeah. And so um, that would be cool if we could dive into that maybe later on. Yeah, well, week. you know, I, when you think about, like, I don't even know how it's possible, and Pastor Blake touched on this, is, is if your truth contradicts my truth, is it really a truth? I mean, yeah. it's, it, it's, it's, a, it's a near impossibility. You you'll blow a breaker in your brain if you yeah. try to think about it. But what we believe is an absolute truth, and yes. that is, you know, that, that we live under a, a theocracy. We, we, we trust God as king of our kingdom, and, and he's written a book. If you haven't heard about it, it's the Bible, and, you know, several books written to cities and, and a culmination of things that is, 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 the, um, is, is God breathed, yes. you know. And so, and it's trustworthy, and so... We get our truth from the Bible, and yeah, of course, there's always going to be like debates and and, and t discussions about, yeah. you know, we've talked about a few about cultural things or you know yeah. about things in the Bible, but we do believe that God's um, God's truth was written for us, and absolutely. we can believe in that, we can trust in that, and that is absolute truth. Now, is is we talked about this in sermon prep? Is is all of absolute truth ab able to understand? Are we able to comprehend it all? Yeah, and I would say probably not. not or, or you'd be a god, right? Yeah. You'd be like yeah, god. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Which would take we, us back to the garden. Yep. Yeah. And we, <laughs> we're finite beings. Yeah, we're finite beings. <laughs> but we yeah. can pray and ask God to help us with, um, with the understanding of, of his word towards us. And so that's our prayer for you. Uh, we really are praying for you. And if you're that person that just is looking for more in your life. I mean, I, I think that's why we do what we do here at the church um, twofold, making it easier for you to come to know Jesus and, and to, to grow in a relationship with him, get involved in groups, uh, get, um, you know, get connected. We'd love to hear from you. Um, Justin will <laughs> reach out to you if you reach yes. out to us and we look forward to to, um, getting to know you better. So if you want to partner with us in any way financially, we just thank you for that. We're able to impact thousands of people across the globe with the message of, of, the, of the cross, the message of Jesus. And so we want to thank you for doing that. You guys have been so generous um, with, to us and to the church, to the vision and mission. Um, you can simply do that just by going onto the app and clicking anywhere in there um, that says give, or you can go to tcaz.us forward slash give. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is the generosity over the last year has just been um, amazing. It's been inspiring. So thank you for that. Well, that's going to be it for us um, during this time. Thanks, Justin. Killed yeah. it, as usual. Right <laughs> and we'll be back with you next week. Maybe we'll see you sometime this week. It's going to be it for us. Thanks. Have a great week.